Hello friends and family, this is Michael Wolf Parsons again. Uh, we're here inside our shop here at Wolf Customs. Uh, if you want to pan around and get a good view of the shop that we built, we're really proud of it. We used uh, shipping containers for the side walls. Uh, <clears throat> it's all steel frame, lots of welding, uh, but um, we did all the work ourselves except for the concrete work. Okay, anyway, I got off on a tangent there. <laughs> uh, this the last video of the day. This is about our 57 Chevy. And uh, I affectionately named this car the Wolf. And I started on this back in 2014. And for whatever reason, life is just gets in the way. Uh, and this car has been pushed to the back burner so many times. Um, but my concept... <clears throat> I, when I had this, when I bought this car, I had a 55 Chevy wagon that I had shortened. And I kind of had this thing for shorties. Uh, and I uh, told my husband that I had this idea for a 57 Chevy shorty, but I needed a Corvette chassis. And he just so happened he had a 93 C4 Corvette that he had got brand new. He, he actually won it in a champion for a sh championship race. And he had wrecked it, it could have been built, but he let me cut it up, which that's just testament of any, uh, I mean, can you imagine anybody letting their wife cut up their Corvette? I just, he loves me. Anyway, so what I did, this was a four door uh, Chevy and um, <clears throat> I took 20 inches out of the length and I just basically fit it down over this Corvette chassis. And uh, you see, I had to make, of course, I had to bring the, the rockers out uh, like six inches. Um, it's, it's all channeled, it's sectioned. The wheel wells are radiused in the back. Uh, and <clears throat> originally, my idea was to leave the roof line long, you know, and instead of, so the car's shorter, but to leave the roof line long to give it a fastback look. And with the original top on it, it, it was tall and it was chunky in the back. And I don't know how to explain it other than it kind of looked like a Henry J, which is cool, but it wasn't going to work for me. So I said, I said to my husband, I said, I've got this idea. <laughs> That's what gets me in trouble. Cause I said, I got this idea. And I said, I need a 58 Chevy roof. So we found a 58 Chevy roof and <clears throat> basically all I used of it was the roof skin and the rails. And I, uh, so I, I actually, cause I had to, it was all rusted around it. It was just falling apart. So I, it was a good time to, I guess you'd call it pancake the roof. Um, so I ended up, I used the 57 Chevy windshield surround and then the side rails and the roof skin from the 58 and then the back is just hand built. And one thing I did on the, on this chop, instead of cutting through the windshield posts, I just sunk the whole windshield surround down into the firewall. And then I brought the hood back um, and the fenders back. And what that does, um, I can run a stock windshield in it and I don't ever have to worry about cutting a glass and you know, going through that ordeal. Um, the, uh, around here to the front, the, the front bumper and the hood is like basically ready to paint. Uh, just need to sand it over the, sometime over the last couple of years, it got scratched there, so I need to clean that up. I used a C1 uh, Corvette grill. Uh, the, the bumper, <clears throat> I'm really, I love this front bumper. It's a, this is actually a, a rear bumper to a 66 Mustang. And I cut it in half and I added about, I'm gonna say about six inches in it, right in the middle. And then the bumper on a 66 Mustang, it's run straight. So I wanted to put a kind of a, a V in it to match the profile of the, the V of the hood. So it's angled and then it comes back and then um, I had to, had to lengthen the rear bumper or the lengthen 
the bumper to come back here and build this section right here for the, the Chevy. Anyway, it's getting there. But I, oh, my cameraman says, come on, let's go back to the back. So, uh, the back of the car is, this is mostly just handmade. We used a uh, Cadillac tail lights in it, uh, 93 Cadillac tail lights. Uh, I did a, made a roll pan and of course we, we have a louver press. So we're just, we love louvers. So I louvered our roll pan. We have five inch French openings for four inch exhaust. And uh, we have a small Cobra style gas cap for the, to put the fuel in. And, and we, we can actually utilize the factory C4 Corvette fuel tank. It's basically bone stock 93 C4 Corvette that's been reskinned. So that sums that up. Stay tuned for updates on this car. It'll be a while before I get back on it. Thanks for watching my video and hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.